Welcome to all. In this video, we will see Bamboo Tissue Culture Standards for NCS TCP Certification. The NCS TCP means National Certification System for Tissue Culture Plants certify and recognize that tissue culture production facilities in India that are producing high quality tissue culture propagules which are genetically identical. For micro propagation, two factors are key important. One is to maintain the genetic purity and second one is free from viruses and pests and diseases. Since several facilities producing tissue culture materials in India and regulatory agencies required and NCS TCP is performing the job to certify the tissue culture materials. Now we will see the eligibility requirements for bamboo tissue culture production. For that purpose, all the micro propagation and greenhouse facilities included with changing area between double door entries must be approved as per standards of the greenhouses and the greenhouse facility should be free of pest or vectors carrying bamboo pathogens and all the potting and growth media should be sterilized and water should be treated free from pathogens and hygiene conditions maintained during micro propagation such as the operations potting planting irrigating and movement and use of the equipment the insect proof double door entrance and greenhouse equipped with footwear disinfection prior to entering inside the greenhouse is must and the ventilation should be screened for insect proof for the entry of gas as well as exhaust of gas and wellington boots that means the plastic boots is recommended and change of lab coat is a must between the two doors before entering inside the greenhouse for general operations the mother plant must be of notified variety confirmed identity and the mother plants are virus indexed in case of bamboo it is optional the reason is the bamboo mosaic virus is very less frequently observed in india and it should be free from epiphytic bacteria and fungi subculture the material need to be obtained afresh from the nodal organization once permitted number of passages are reached in the case of shoot proliferation and we have to obtain new material for new shoot propagation all the stocks must have a valid variety identification and a disease testing report at any time the seed materials recognized aseptic initiation and propagation procedure should be followed for the seed material production and initiating facilities that means initial establishment of the x plant must maintain record of variety identification origin of the mother plant date of initiation and testing results from the uh, test results from the accredited test laboratories called as atl for the virus indexing and genetic purity and have to maintain at least for the period of one year sampling collected at least 10 plants randomly or 0.1% of the plantlets for each varieties are collected for virus indexing and genetic purity and virus indexing is mostly optional in case of bamboo and maximum number of subculture for shoot proliferation is 15 passages in case of bamboo and valid pathogen testing results are required at the second and third subculture stage prior to the bulking of the cultures the minimum quality standards for growing plants inside the greenhouse and polyhouses the sanitation practices should be strictly followed and no field produced bamboo can be grown inside the protected area that means greenhouse and if we produce so many more than one genotypes the varieties must be separated by physical barriers with tagging and before field dispatch the propagules must be tested for the clonal uniformity and by following strict sampling procedure such as minimum 10 plant or 0.1% of the plantlets and if required the bamboo mosaic virus indexing is pro pro practiced if accredited test laboratory reveals the presence of pathogens the entire material should be discarded and it should not be sent it out for hardening and sending to field the laboratory agency producing the bamboo tissue culture materials should issue a certificate to the effect that the bamboo tissue culture have been produced as per the guidelines of ncs tcp 
Bamboo Nursery Development The plant led should be kept in a poly bags in the nursery for a minimum period of 10 days. If the plantlets do not meet the sufficient planting height, then the plantlets are maintained in a prolonged time in the nursery to reach at least 18 inches of height. Uh, since bamboo are more sensitive to transportation, the nursery site should be well level grounded and well drained and as close as possible to the plantation site. The good irrigation facilities and the nursery area should be well protected from the animals entry. So the primary and hardening as well as primary hardening and secondary hardening is strictly followed in bamboo culture plants. The procedures are uh, listed below. First one is for minimum height of the shoot at least we have to keep in primary hardening unit with well humidity and temperature control up to 5 inches of the plantlets and secondary hardening we have to keep in the nursery up to 18 inches and minimum number of shoot should be more than 3 in case of primary hardening and it should be more than 4 in the case of secondary hardening. The minimum number of leaves per shoot should be more than 4 in primary hardening and more than 8 in secondary hardening. Root system is well developed in both case of primary hardening plants as well as secondary hardening plants and the rhizomes are smaller at the end of primary hardening and it is well developed proper rhizomes at the end of secondary hardening. The detailed Flow chart describing NCS TCP guidelines for the tissue culture bamboo is first we have to select the superior clone and send it for genetic uniformity by DNA profiling and in vitro shoot tip culture or nodal culture is practiced. Then after second and third subculture the mother plant stock should be pulled up and used for up to 15 passages of shoot multiplication. Then we have to transfer into rooting medium for root induction and subjected to primary hardening and secondary hardening. After that we kept in nursery and randomly sample is collected and tested for genetic uniformity and dispatched to the field for planting. Labeling of bamboo tissue culture. The bamboo tissue culture label should be 12 into 16 centimeter label and label is signatured with a seal containing the name and designation of the concerned agency approved from NCS TCP. The color of the label is diagonally yellow and apple green and the bamboo tissue culture producing agency shall maintain the account of labels printed and issued to the farmers. Thank you.